Hey there, it's Danny Ackerman, the Danny app, here for your Motivational Monday. I'm just getting back from the auction house where I picked up the goodies I bought yesterday and was thinking to myself, a lot of these things I'm hearing out on Facebook have a lot to do with something called cash flow. Honestly, you guys would not be having a hard time if the money was rolling in in a way that kept supporting your going out, buying some more stuff so that you had enough money to not only buy more stuff for your business, but to pay yourself as well and all the other bills and fees and things that come with online selling. So we are in an age where that whole thing of keeping things for two, three, four, five years, that's no good anymore. We know they get buried in eBay search. It's just, it's just not happening. Plus, that is your money all tied up that you can't use to go get more stuff that could sell more quickly. So here's the thing. Now, I have a one-year rule of thumb right now because that gets me through every single season and potential buyer that, you know, is, is looking at any particular time of the year. And that is in my field of kind of home decor, antiques, collectibles. Now, if you're in a commodity item, electronics or clothing, shoes, um, makeup or, or, you know, housewares, those kind of things you really have to set a much, much shorter time period to hold on. I'm, I, six months is even stretching it. Three months, better. Think like a big retail store. You make your money in the buy, make some good money right off the bat. When you get that stuff, bring it home, list it. You're going to sell some quickly, and then some is going to sit for a little bit and then have a plan for a strategy that, okay, at some point we do a markdown or some point we throw this sucker on auction. Ultimately, pick the latest amount of time you want that sitting around and have a way to clearance. Because even if you end up selling it for just what you have into it, you have your money back to reinvest into something that can sell quicker and make you that money. It's all about cash flow. And that is going to keep you moving really well in this business. And with that, watch the Niche to Profit show this week. Uh, we're going to talk about the new shipping rates and how to handle that with your business. And go be profitable and make it fun.